Hey guys, it's Azon here and today we'll be talking about Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. So it's now been over a year since this game was released and it received a lot of hate I guess because, you know, Ubisoft didn't nail this game as they were expected to. Like people made memes out of this game saying that it, this game could have been the game of the year if it was released 3 years later, progressing the development. So those of you who don't know about this game, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands is a tactical shooter game set in an open world environment. And yep, it is the first Ghost Recon game which is actually set up in an open world and it is the 10th installment to the Ghost Recon series. Unlike Division, this game has a single player mode which I am currently playing on. And you know, today we'll be talking about is the game still good or was it good in the first place Here we go. Next so year. let's begin with it so I'll give you some pros and cons about the game and let's begin with the cons so the first thing which I found as a problem is that the story is not appealing at all like you won't care about the characters at all I guess and the story is pretty boring and predictable other than that their missions are extremely repetitive. Like, yeah, it's cool to steal a gangster's supercar, but stealing that again and again and again is not that cool. And, well, there's one good thing that Clear. the open world is huge, so, yep, if you are getting bored by doing a certain type of missions, you have some others as well, and you can do it on your will whenever you want to, but there will come a time you'll get bored of it. The campaign is around 25 hours long and to be honest it took me a year to finish this game because I played it, I got bored of it, I left it, few months later I again got back to it. So now let's talk about the graphics. So the graphics are actually pretty darn good but yeah right now I'm playing it on a PS4 normal one not pro. Uh, you might have guessed that much. So, the graphics actually look better on the PC version, running at 4K 60fps. And I have to admit, the PS4 and Xbox One versions don't stand up that good. The PC version looks way better. And now let's talk about the AI. So, your teammates, they are dumb. They are dipshit. Until and unless you upgrade them. So just like other games, this game has a skill tree progression and if you unlock and purchase the right skills for your teammates, they turn out to be great. Like they play better than your pro shooter buddy, like the friends you play online with. And the enemy AI, well, sometimes they are extremely dumb and sometimes they are extremely smart. Of course it depends on the mission difficulty, but I think it's too weird, like on the easier levels. An enemy might look into your eye and think, am I supposed to shoot this guy? No, I guess I should wait until and unless he kills me. You won't even know what killed you. And that is extremely annoying. Uh, but still, if you're playing on the easiest difficulty, no matter how hard the mission is or how easy the mission is, you won't get killed. It is too easy. If you get killed in that, that means you're a major noob. Stop playing games. Nah, I'm just kidding. So, other than that, the vehicles in this game, I just, I, I, I almost forgot about that. They handle, not that good, I won't say horrible, but that's not good at all. Like, your vehicle keeps skidding here and there, even if you don't touch the left analog stick or the directional buttons. Huh, but the bikes, they nail the bikes, like, they are awesome. <laughs> they handle pretty well. Other than that, there's one more thing which actually appealed to me in this game that is the weapon customization because it really changes the way how you use your weapon you know and it helps you a lot especially for a player like me who's not into these kind of games it helped me a lot so I covered my real name with Azon says I don't want you guys to know that and now I'll show you how you can customize your weapon so yeah there are all the parts I don't know half of them just kidding I know all of them just I don't want to waste your time explaining all of that to you so yeah, you can change the paints, the parts of each and every weapon, you can even randomize it and they actually affect how the weapon plays, like how you use the weapon, yeah, like or 
almost in every game in which you can customize the weapons the stats change but nonetheless the performance remains the same but in this game it's not like that for example the sniper rifle which i'm using right now this one it's the default version of the sniper rifle sucks and i really regretted unlocking this weapon but when i customized it well this is the best sniper rifle for me in this whole game and i just kept on using it throughout the game uh you can only experience this when you play the game i can say that so with that been said i would like to end my today's video by the way the soundtrack in this game is crap as well except for the menu music and the end credits and the title music other than that i guess you have already heard the radio sound in my car yeah that's horrible <laughs> so with that been said this game is a good game i can say i won't say it's the greatest but yeah it is appealing by the way you also have these other ai teammates known as the rebels for which i'm collecting this shit they are horrible no matter how much you upgrade them they are worth nothing so till then see you guys and as always thanks for watching do like mic stopped working do subscribe i upload videos like these every single